And God laid all of this out for the perfection of the saints. Right? And it's not finished yet. You're right. Pastor, I just marvel at how God chose Paul to reveal this mystery too. And you know, and Paul said that he did not come with the excellency of speech or wisdom. Mm -hmm. And you preached the message why Paul. Yeah. But I just marvel at how it was Paul. We know his past yeah. and his how he was so passionate about what he did to the saints, but God saw fit to choose him to uh -huh. reveal this mystery. Yeah. So I marvel in that. And the thing about it is that he could have chosen one of the twelve. Exactly. Why did he choose a 13th quote unquote apostle? You see that? I had somebody tell me that that, that Paul's one of the 12. Yep. I said, Are you sure? And of course, I took it to scripture, Acts, Acts 1, when it shows the qualifications of an apostle. And according to the kingdom program, Paul was not even, he was not even qualified. Right. Yeah, I'm still like kind of wondering about, okay, we talk about the Gentile. Uh, for instance, the session, and I'm thinking yeah. about Peter versus the non-believing Jew. Where would they be on this yeah. timeline? Are we still at the point because I don't care what we talk about the Gentiles yeah. and all that. Uh, we still waiting on Jerusalem, uh, I mean Israel, uh, to be saved. Correct? When you say that. I Keep going. I'm not going to say I agree with what you're saying. I don't understand the context yet. Okay. When you when you speak about Israel coming back, we're not, we're I'm not talking, waiting for that. Well, I'm looking at, okay, Peter uh -huh. versus Paul. Uh -huh. Paul, Gentile, Peter, Jews, correct? Correct, but let me, let me ask you this. Who is a Gentile today? Yeah. What? So, so whether you're Jew, it doesn't matter what your nationality is. So the term Gentile just means people in the nations. So everybody today, according to God, is considered a Gentile, part of the nations. So the question that you're about to ask, you're trying to figure out the separation of the Jew from where they are now. They're just as welcome and not welcome as a Gentile believer or Gentile unbeliever. But what, what I really want to know is about if the Jewish nation itself is still at the point of waiting for our tribulation, uh, the kingdom to come to earth. Are uh -huh. they still, is that part of their belief still, or have they all decided are we all in the same boat or we're all waiting for? Now, now you asked me, now I can't speak of, on them, I can speak on what God says. Now what God is saying is that it doesn't matter if you're Jew or Gentile today. Everybody is under the instruction of the gospel of the grace of God. Now, whether they want to hold on to this, which they do do, that's their problem. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know when and where they're going to wake up. But I do know if they begin to wake up, then we're going to be out of here. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Because Romans 11 and 25, yeah. yeah. Those who believe yeah. will be raptured. Who is dealing with the tribulation? The, the, this is going to be these uh, Jews and Gentiles out here, the unbelievers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Romans, Romans 11 25, Paul says, Paul would not brother, that you be ignorant of this mystery, that you be wise in your own conceit, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So understand that when God is done with this dispensation of grace, with the Gentiles, which is anybody who believes, when he's done, then what he's going to do is he's going to catch us away and then start back with them over here. And at that time, Excuse me, because when you when you see a lot of this stuff, they get over there, they're starting to do things to build up that temple again. So that means that some some of them are about to be waking up. You see? So are you saying that the the fullest of the Gentiles when the last believer believes, that's when that's when the rapture Yeah, yeah, but whatever yeah. I heard recently that that doesn't mean that it happened here. We don't know how long the gap is moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm not saying yeah, because that just like there was a transition between law and grace, there's gonna be a transition between our catching away and the tribulation. Yeah, there's gonna be a I I don't know. I, I, I can give you what I've gathered from scripture, but I, I don't like to do that because that's my thoughts because the scripture just doesn't say that. So I stick with the scripture just doesn't say that. Yeah. But I do have through study, I do have my thoughts on the time period 
and, and, and at the time, according to the numbers. As soon as you wrap the then the trip starts. So, so, so the, uh, radio See, time. because understand, who starts the tribulation? <laughs> no, who starts the tribulation? By doing what? Breaking the what? Jesus Christ has to break the seals. Revelation 6, right? Yeah. The, the tribulation doesn't start until the seals are broken. Who's going to be our judge at the judgment seat of Christ? The 12 tribes. No. At our judge at the 12, at the judgment seat. Who's going to be judging us? Jesus Christ himself. Who's going to break, break the, the, the start of the tribulation? Jesus Christ himself. So obviously this can't be going on at the same time as that. So understand, there will be some time because we have to be judged. Um, we're not being judged for salvation now. We're being judged according to our works. Huh? But the baby seat, exactly. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 1 Corinthians 3. So, so that's what it's talking about, right? That's so understand that. Uh -huh. that's reward. reward, exactly. So there will be some time because Jesus is going to judge and he's also going to start this. So that, and like he said, I don't. it doesn't specifically say in scripture that it's going to be five years, it's going to be this year. It doesn't specifically say that. So yeah, you're right. There will be time in between. And so yeah, that will, Israel is in blindness right now. And because they're in blindness, that's why they don't accept the gospel of the grace of God. Yes. Is that clear up what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I want to know is to us as Gentiles, grace is our answer. And, and to us as everybody. Yeah. Because, be. matter of fact, let me read this to you. I want to go here. 328. Right. Yeah, that one, but I'm gonna go to Acts real quick. Get that one, Dennis. I'm gonna have you read that one. Uh, Acts, uh, Acts 9 to verse 15. And Dennis, you get uh, uh, 328. Galatians. What did I get? Acts, what's that? <laughs> what? what if you want one, you get one, kid. I'll let you get one. <laughs> Acts 9 and 15. But the Lord said unto him, the Lord is talking to Ananias, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel. He is Paul, Saul of Tarsus. He is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before who? The Gentiles. The Gentiles and the kings and who? The children of Israel. So everybody today is under the instructions of this man. See that? Whether they want to believe it or not, that's what, this, that's what the Bible says. And also, go ahead. Uh, Galatians 3 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you all are one in Christ Jesus. There we go. Amen. Amen. And read that next one. And if he if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and an heir according to the promise? There we go. See that? That's, the That's it. And so, and so that answers your question? Yeah. Okay. And, and see that, and that's what it's about. Today, God does not see nationality, He sees individual. Right? So even, even the Jews are under the instructions of Paul's gospel, the gospel of the grace of God. Because God is going to judge the secret of the secrets of men according to my gospel, Paul says in Romans 2 16. So it behooves us to know and understand Paul's gospel. Amen. But that's what we're going to be judged by. Alright? All minds, hearts clear? All right, good questions. Good, uh, good time today. Give yourselves a hand. Amen. Uh, and this is what Bible study is all about. It's coming Amen. together to fellowship in the mystery and understand the deep things of God according to the spirit that has revealed them to us. Amen? Amen? Father God, we thank you now for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for the illumination of your word and your truth, O oh God, that some are, that our gospel is here with those that are lost, O oh God. But we pray right now that you that, that you open their eyes to spiritual understanding. Uh, pray for our denominational brother who are lost, oh God, teaching salvation plus works, oh God. But we ask right now that you get them to understand the free gift of the grace of God, that your son died for us, paid for our sins, that we don't have to do anything to receive that other than believe. Faith is the only thing that we can do without essentially doing nothing. And we thank you for it right now. And faith is the only thing that pleases you. Father God, our works are as filthy rags according to you, O oh God, and your word. But we thank you right now that we can be made the righteousness of God in your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you right now that you have given us the spirit that you may reveal to us all the deep things that you would have us to know. Continue to help us to grow and study your truth, O oh God, that we may uh, not only walk a, a certain spectrum, O oh God, but that we may be able to teach others also. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Thank you all so much.